What is going on Luna Classic community? We got a whole lot to talk about today. Um, I've got a new project that I'm gonna show you towards the end of this video. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. That helps this trend in the algorithm that gets more people watching the product. If they like what I'm saying, if they like what is presented here, if they like what you're doing, they become investors, price goes up. It's very simple. So make sure you hit that like button on the way in. And again, thank you. Okay, so let's talk a few things. First of all, uh, the old founder, Duquan of Terra Luna Classic, uh, has had his extradition delayed again by the Supreme Court of Montenegro. Remember, we had this, uh, why is he in Montenegro? Well, it turns out the president of Montenegro was a major investor in Terra and Luna in the early days. Made a lot of money off of it. So um, it, 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 would, it would seem that there's some protection being run for him. The VDT's request seeks to delay the enforcement of earlier decisions by both the High Court in Puerto Rico and the Court of Appeals. These courts had earlier approved Duquan's extradition to his home country, South Korea. The Supreme Court panel, led by Judge Sika Paletic, determined that the extradition would be postponed until the court can review the VDT request. That's the Supreme State Prosecutor's Office. Uh, the decision was influenced by concerns raised about potential legal violations in the process of leading to the initial ruling. Uh, the VDT requested that the Supreme Court evaluate whether the extradition decisions adhere to Montenegrin law and international treaties. So, it uh, doesn't mean that it's not going to happen, just means that it hasn't happened as of yet. Let's move on. Now, the question is, can Luna Classic get to a dollar because of the tax to gas upgrade? Now, guys, we've done some analysis here, talking to you, telling you what this looks like when you implement the tax to gas and the 1.5% tax burn. So there's some interesting stuff that could be happening right here. But uh, this is what this says. It says tax proposal 12120, tax to gas has surpassed the past threshold, indicates that validators and delegates have agreed to implement tax to gas. This will follow another parameter change proposal by the core developer to implement the upgrade. The proposal has received 65 votes in favor, 10% no, and 24 abstain. Basically 90% of the people wanted this to happen. Most validators voted in favor of the proposal, but top validator all notes has yet to decide as it is one of the crucial changes to burn and on-chain tax mechanisms. All notes kind of sitting on the sidelines for this. Kind of peculiar, if you ask me. But again, that's why I unstaked with all notes. Tax to gas is game-changing as it will resolve issues, including contract developers needs to calculate the, ta the tax manually. Uh, so this you know, has the potential to create something of a revival in that it will allow developers to continue and start to really build. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away $100,000 in Ethereum and $100,000 in Solana. Go to this X post and engage with it in order to get registered. Uh, you have to follow their Telegram, follow Cryptonomy on X, make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months. There's no amount given, but the winners could range from $100,000 to $10,000. So check it out today. Also, we now have a dark mode on Cryptonomy. So if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. Now, I told you guys before, I'm a big time fan of API3. I think it's gonna be one of the bangers. We're gonna do this one for six months. And we're also going to make a deposit on Ondo. And again, we're gonna do it for six months. That's a 32.46% yield. And now we're staked with more API, more Ondo. Guys, I can't stress enough the market Get ready because there's something big getting ready to happen. Make sure that you're staking with Cryptonomy.finance today. Build on the project. Now, the low over here was 4066.79 and the high was uh, 4071.73. So as you can see, there was a nice little jump in uh, price action and that correlated to uh, volume coming up a little bit. Now remember, it's down 5.7% for the last couple of, uh, I wanna say it's about 12 hours now. But yesterday was a little bit higher because we started to see that that turnaround. Remember, it was lower yesterday. Also, the same thing over here with USTC up a little bit, market cap up a little bit on both. So, are we getting are we getting a full on recovery? Of course not. We're not we're not there yet, but uh, we are getting a nice little move. So, uh, where does this what is this going to do? Um, well, you know, they use words like soared, but we're not going to use that. It's nothing soaring. Uh, we're just developing. Um, uh, hopefully, we're going to hit that price floor. Uh, remember, we talked about our price points, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. Uh, over on Commonwealth, nothing really new. Everything that we had going on before, this bootstrapping thing, no comments. I don't think there's any interest over here in that right now. Uh, over on Coin Hall, you can see a lot of activity happening over here, a lot of recovery out of the way. And you've got NFT Miata, uh, Common having a nice little run. Food Food token having a little run. Remember, um, we have um, 
I, I believe his name is Rakoff the Jackoff. I'm, I'm sorry, did I say that? I, the, the, the esteemed federal American judge of 80 some odd years. Of course, an 82 year old can't run for president here. Uh, an 80 year old is running for president here. And, you know, it's just, it's stop. Stop, Jed. It's time to let it go. Retire. You're losing this, the faculties. Anyway, uh, we're not seeing the Juris Protocol on here, but we will see that coming up very, very soon. On to proposals. Uh, you can see each and every one of those. We're going to start with this number here, 12119. Uh, this is the remove the KYC. This is, you know, there's a couple of yeses here. So, you know, we're starting to get uh, some some headwind here uh, with people wanting to, to do it, but you've got no with veto and you've got a lot of no going on so far. So it to be interesting to see how this, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people who want DeFi, who want strictly just, you know, you can just do whatever you want, who cares? Those are the people. Uh, the people who are concerned about you, in my opinion, are, are the ones that are going to be voting uh, no to this because they want somebody to know who's doing whatever just in case you get scammed by anybody. So yeah, I really I really support uh, vetoing this one, but that's your decision. You vote your conscience, not my conscience. Uh, this was just my opinion. On 12 one uh, this was the tax to gas implementation. Uh, you can see the vote here. We've passed threshold. Uh, this is going to happen. It looks like we're going to close this out uh, with with um, uh, some with a positive outcome right here. So I, I do think that this means that we are a go. Uh, also, 12 one which is fraud verdict uh, that has passed as well to make sure that the Oracle split logic deployment was successful. So long burn back down a little bit because we've taken out the the it's the eighth it's the ninth now so we've taken out the binance burn so still 500 million over the last couple of days that's not insignificant when we look at uh the top burners you know yeah uh, a couple days ago terra casino there we go uh, 367 now it's up to 371 still in seventh place almost catching though just as all notes still down here all notes for all that they allege to do over here just not burning anything just this just nothing 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 at all nothing Nothing. So, um, you know, if you wonder it, why do I say things negative about all nodes, um, I mean, where's the value? Where's the value other than for them to continue doing business as usual? Because again, all the validators pay them. I don't, and I don't want to say it's like 5000 6000 a month. I don't really know the number, by the way, but they're paying thousands of dollars a month to all nodes. You got a hundred validators and that's a lot of money that all nodes is, is pulling in every single month. And they also have a large amount of validation and they were referral by the way, from Binance. So um, I'm supposed to think that they're good because they came as part of Binance and we rely on Binance for burns, but I don't believe what other people tell me I'm supposed to believe. Uh, I, I like to or prefer to see things for myself. And when I see this, I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. So if you like it, fine, but it's not for me. I don't like all nodes. I think they're, uh, I don't think that they're a great actor in this space. Um, I, I'm not saying that they're an evil villain, by the way. I'm just saying that I don't prefer them. So, you know, what I do prefer though, Terra Casino, son. So if you haven't already and you want to do a little risk-based gaming and you want to have that opportunity, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, I, I don't know if you remember this, but there's a very famous guy, Nick Papa Giorgio from Yuma, Arizona. And if you don't know who that is, where you been living? National Lampoon's Vegas vacation. He just kept winning cars. He kept winning money. He kept winning everything he touched. He won. You want to be like that? Well, you don't know if you're going to be like that or not unless you get on TerraCasino.io and start playing today using Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, uh, USDT, USDC, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, Litecoin, Dogecoin, you name it, you can do it. So I don't know what you're waiting for, but uh, there's a lot of people over here uh, playing games, making a lot of money. So do you want to get in on it? Get in on it. You don't want to get in on it? Stay poor. No big deal. Also, if you're doing your meme coin trading, and remember, there is a rebranding right now. Juris has fully rebranded. You can see right here. Juris has made their change. Uh, the new token, there's a, there's a new icon for it as well. So uh, it doesn't look like a uh, it doesn't look like a 982 year old uh, sack of bones. So that's good, and you can do some trading if you want to. As far as my earnings go, 
on my staking here, 5,000 staked, we're rewards of 18. Again, I got this in here for 90 days. That was the longest period of time. The rest of it just absolutely sold out. Now, guys, this is what, look, if you got tokens, stake your tokens because, you know, what's going to, What's going to happen here is the value of everything is going to explode at some point, right? Everything is everything's going to explode. The value of everything is going to explode. Then why don't you get in on it? Why don't you be part of it? Why don't you, uh, you know, make this a an opportune moment for you to have more tokens to earn some more yield? Because look, if you have five thousand tokens like I do, and it goes to a dollar, you have five thousand dollars, right? Um, but if you stake it for a hundred and you go through this bull run and you know it goes up uh, and now you have ten thousand tokens, something like that, that's ten thousand dollars. I mean, it's silly uh, to not be staking your tokens and earning some yield for it right now. Now, remember, I did it for the first time for fourteen days because we were trying this out. Uh, then I got into. I thought I was going to get into one hundred eighty days at twenty four percent. It didn't work out that way. I ended up getting into the 90 days at 19%. The rest of this is all sold out. I'll be watching it, see if any of it opens at any point. But, you know, just know that it's 180 days, 365. It's going to take a while before any kind of spot opens right there. But this one is currently still open. So um, take your shot while you got your shot. Now let's talk about uh, something special that happened today. Elbun Project. The Elbun Project, if you haven't seen it so far, guess what? They just launched Meme Coin Madness. Uh, it is right here. Only buys are allowed. Buy limit is 500k lunk per five minutes to make it fair. Uh, but wallets can buy again when those five minutes are up. No wallet, no wallet transfers. Uh, pump can end based on block meme supply or lunk raise. Launch date is announced, uh, but actual start time is not, so people have to keep checking. There is a max supply of 200 million Mboy. Do the math involved. Using lunk will show incorrect excessive slippage. So to make sure the correct number is displayed, we will use CW lunk, which is pegged one to one with lunk. The swap page will allow converting between the two. Uh, there's no buying or selling. Meme coins will be airdropped to the last 100 buyers. This airdrop ensures that those are bought. I have a chance to make a profit. The airdrop amount will be the largest of the actual dump. Then you have the dump phase. Dump start is not announced ahead of time, so dumpers have to keep checking. Five addresses randomly selected to dump every 15 minutes. Dumpers must dump all the tokens. It's a game, by the way. This So, so everybody understands, this is a game uh, that you're going to be playing called Meme Coin Madness. So uh, if you are interested in this, then I would certainly, certainly come and check this thing out. Uh, there is a list of instructions over here. Also, there is some memes. If you are interested in submitting some memes for a competition or anything like that, uh, then present the the, the memes. Um, so, you know, whatever you think is is important. If you want to do some kind of lame stuff on Pepe or or Doge or Shiba Inu, or you want to use a Shiba Inu dog or something like that, you know, get that thing together, uh, name the token, um, add a fun little description of it, and then drop an image over here, and then put your Telegram handle out here. And uh, th there's this. This is right here. Uh, we intend to give you one percent of all sales. You know what? Let's do one. What do you think? Let's do one. Uh, we're gonna name it Believes Token or something like that. I'll do that. I'll do that right now. So it'll be launching along with it, and um, you guys can decide whether or not you wanna you, you wanna play the game uh, with the Believes Token. How about that? Um, so that's it, guys. Go check all this stuff out today. It is so important that you interact with this community. Terraport.finance, uh, Terra Casino. Uh, go, let's play this meme game, Meme Coin Madness. Uh, check it out. There's, uh, it's very easy to find. Elbun Project. So uh, if you have any questions uh, or concerns, reach out to that team and see what they have to say. But it sounds like there's a lot of fun to be had here. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is not financial advice, but I'm always ready.